Welcome back to another Linux tutorial. Today I just wanted to show what it takes to switch over from Sway to Hyperland in the machine that we've configured before. So um, here I am back in that machine and uh, if you remember we had configured ourselves a start script for Sway which we bound to um, the command start Sway so I can show you again where we are at. This is the Sway configuration that is explained on my channel how to get to this point. And we have Raybar here configured um, yeah, how we have had done that uh, the last time we looked into Sway. And if I exit this again and uh, from here want to um, go into the uh, configuration of uh, Hyperland, um, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, see if my system is out of date. Um, so because I've got this machine now lying around um, for some time and let's see what's new. Yeah, that's what I saw. There are some packages, so I will quickly update the machine and then we can go from there. Um, so what do we need uh, for Hyperland? We need, of course, Hyperland. And um, if we want to use um, the XDG portals, we have to install that uh, portal for Hyperland. And as far as I know, Hyperland uses Dolphin as a file manager in the default configuration. So I don't know if my Ranger conf uh, config um, uh, yeah, it ports over to that very well. So I will, uh, in the first um, take, install Dolphin with it. Um, also, I've planned uh, that we just reset our Raybar configuration so that I can show you how it looks when you set things up and not um, with this uh, theme, the style um, that we've downloaded for Raybar. So yeah, he's here just finishing now. And there we are. So now we can do um, the installation and that's um, the packages that I just mentioned. So it's a uh, hyperland um, XDG uh, desktop is a package, I think. And then the portal for hyperland. And uh, Dolphin, I think must be that. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, take the default here. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, Qt GStreamer plugin. So let's see um, if we've got that. I, I will just write it out. Otherwise, I could have taken another terminal and just edited the um, config files already. But uh, this is a quick install, in my opinion. So I just write it out here. And uh, when we've got that installed, we can continue together. Yeah, it must be almost done here. And of course, you can um, install this from an um, Arch Basin style. You don't have to uh, do it uh, like this here from um, installing first the Sway um, configuration and then uh, porting it over. But uh, when you follow it uh, to this point, then it will be quite easy to do it. So. And what I now do is I copy my start script over so that I've got a hyperland start script here. And uh, I think nano is installed and we have to edit this, of course. And uh, instead of sway, we want to um, exec hyperland and it's with a capital uh, H at that point here. So um, yeah, that's just that you know uh, so and what and i want to reset the um 
uh, what it's it's Etsy um XDG I think Waybar yeah okay so I just want to uh, reset the Waybar config so I take the default configuration there are two files in it it's this config file and the style file and we will just co copy that over to config and uh, Waybar so that we have the standard configuration for Waybar and let's see what do we have to do uh yeah i think that's already everything we have to do so we can um start hyperland i don't know ah so like this so this is the first time of course uh, nothing is configured the right way um, so the first time you open it, um, uh, Hyperland will give you this warning, and uh, but uh, Hyperland will also copy over the configuration file for you. Um, so I don't have Kitty installed, so I think, uh, yeah, I can't get a terminal now. So what I do is I will just leave again with a Super and M. And let me just clear this here. And uh, now we can um, quickly edit. Um, a terminal into this configuration for us so um it's config and then hyper and then hyperland.com so we just added this so the first thing is you can command this auto generate line out so that this warning that we've just seen um does not appear anymore and uh, here we will um exec once um way bar so i can just um do that now uh, with the first start so way bar will be loaded and here as terminal we have at the moment um foot um and rofi we have also so i i could have used the um rofi menu but yeah so um here i've got now the, the terminal configured and now we can do the rest in um hyperland and then you can also um yeah view everything a bit better because i can zoom in so of course you see the um, whole configuration of the um the whole configuration of uh, the screen resolution and so on is off so the first thing we want to do now is um config uh, hyperland again and um correct the uh First, the locale because otherwise I get these problems again with editing. So um, let's see. Here it is the keyboard layout. I want to have um, DE and I want um, uh, no uh, dead keys. keys. Um, let's do that. Um, so exists. Suck. Uh, does he do it when I just reload it? Let's see. Yeah, okay. So let's zoom in again a little bit. So well, that's uh, just the locale so that I can type uh, again. Um, but because I'm not accustomed to the uh, English keyboard um, layouts. Uh, so and now we uh, have to do the resolution first. So. Um, for that, Hyperland has got um, HyperCTL. That's a tool that you can use to get these configurations out of the system. Uh, but you, uh, of course, uh, have to run Hyperland so that you can access uh, the, the, the data uh, from within. Um, so if you do it from the terminal, it won't work. So here I can now look up the configuration that I'm running at the moment. So and um, so my monitor is virtual display one uh, with this resolution at the moment at zero uh, x zero, but I want to have it running um, in in a higher resolution. And so I will just uh, edit again this configuration here. And here is the monitor configuration. So as we have seen, we want to use a virtual minus one the virtual and um the preferred is in this case um 1020 by 1080 so i'm using full uh, uh full hd in um 60 
uh, hertz and here it is then 0x0 and the last one is 1 and I can just um, save that to the file and now uh, he is automatically reloading at that point so um, we've got it, uh, that running let's see what else do we need to do um, yeah we've got the configuration ah, so um, and now the problem is uh, as you can see here we don't have um, the workspaces anymore and uh, here are some things that won't work if I click on them like uh, here nothing happens when I click and that's because our way bar is still configured for sway so if I um, go into um, way bar and then the configuration for way bar um, uh, yeah let's just zoom in a little bit more so you can see that uh, here is still the sway um, modules uh, in the configuration so what I need to do is um, uh, you just uh, take here a hyperland um, so and uh, yeah I just replace every uh, that was too much um, I just replace everything where the sway is here uh, with hyperland and we must see what else do we have here so here is the keyboard status okay so but here in the end yeah here is language so we re ah, we, we replace um, language at that point and um, where else do we have it so this is here um, uh, yeah commented out but we will um, do it uh, nevertheless at that point here is the sway mode so that must be replaced and scratch pad I think we can also replace let's see and the MPD that's the thing that doesn't work uh, for us nevertheless so idle american temperature backlight so that are normal um add-ons for the bar that are general things yeah so that is all that that works i think so what's here the configuration for the desktops again so modules configuration workspaces okay so here you can get um the uh, icons for the workspaces yeah but i uh, will leave it like that it's uh, normally outlined so and as it is exact once he won't reload um the way bar now so i just take the easy approach and just um start again and let's see yeah and now uh, that is here back again um, if you now go over the bar, uh, the rendering will get slow. Um, that's again this effect of the software rendering. But the other things, I think I can hear. Why can't I click? Mm, I thought I've got Pulse Audio now running. Let's see again. Ah, here's one I've overlooked, but that's not the problem. So the Pulse Audio should work, in my opinion. Memory temperature tray, backlit battery, yeah. Pulse Audio, but there's not no, normally not. Um, Pavu control is installed, so I don't know why that's not working at the moment. Um, so, but in my opinion, ah, I, I just have to right click again to get um, the mouse working. That's the problem. So, uh, that's the same problem we had in the Sway um, configuration. Uh, 
as the hardware mouse uh, is disabled, you have to first right click before he registers the mouse and then you can left click. So um, if you want to close a window in uh, Hyperland, um, that's uh, mod Q, I think. No, mod Q is that mod C is a close. Yeah, and mod Q is the terminal. Um, it's a, uh, yeah, uh, for me a, a little bit. Uh, um, difficult if you come from i3 wm but uh, you can get accustomed to that and um yeah what else do we have to do now in my opinion this is a basic configuration um we've now taken our uh, sway machine over to hyperland and everything's a configuration and so on for waybar it's the same as uh, if you're using a uh, sway or, or something else so um let's see again yeah if we use um mod air as a starter here that's uh Wofi comes up and uh, yeah so in my opinion uh, this will um round up uh, the tutorial um or, or tutorial or just a little experiment how you can transition from sway to hyperland and uh, if you want to give it a go then um have fun with uh, this whole linux system and uh, thank you for watching and bye